Hey YouTube, it's Luigi King 541 back with another toy review. This time I'm going to do the entire Thunder Megazord from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 2, known as the Dino from Ghost Age Sentai Dino Ranger. And as you may know, previously I re reviewed the Red Dragon Thunder Zord, so he's out of the picture for a while. And so I can actually just focus on the four main Zords that we have left. We got the, the Lion Zord, the Firebird Zord, the... Tr the... What is this? Uh, unicorn and Griffin. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot that's a unicorn. Anyway, I'm gonna go individually and talk about each sword. So let's start off with the Lion Zord. All right, we're well, starting off with the Lion Zord, which is controlled by Zack in the first half of the season and controlled by Adam in the second half. And let's compare this to its counterpart, the Mastodon Dinosaur. Okay, so you know between them, uh, you know in the show, uh, when this got struck by lightning, uh, the Mastodon, it turned into the Lion Zord. As you might know, this is actually the first Lion Zord ever made in uh, Power Ranger history. Yeah, uh, of course they had a Black Ranger in the show, they still have it, but they actually, uh, in uh, Dire Ranger, the, the, sh the sh Green Ranger, known as the Sheshi Ranger, was, had a green Lion Zord. Yeah, because the, the face on the Lion Zord is green, not black. So they just took the... Let me just move this on the side so I can talk. Anyway, they actually took the... They actually took the black and gold Dino toy and actually just made it as a black toy for the Black Ranger. Yeah, it's just silly. Anyway, I am, didn't miss any of the pieces from the Lion Zord. Yeah, I almost lost this piece, yeah, because it's easy to lose. Anyway... Right here, in here, in this compartment, you can actually uh, hold uh, the figurines of the Rangers and the and the little power crystals they have so, from season one. Uh, I accidentally knocked this off of me. Got it. All right. As you might know, I lost all of them. Even when I, when I got this in packaging, I didn't even have all the Zords. I don't even have all the pig pieces in here. No, none of the figurines. Actually, actually, I don't have the Red Ranger figurine or the crystal. Alright, anyway, that's all for the Lion Zord. Let's move on with the Firebird. Alright, we're moving on to the Firebird Thunder Zord, which is controlled by Kimberly throughout the entire season. And with its counterpart, the Pterodactyl Thunder Zord, as you may know, the Firebird is way bigger than the than uh, the Pterodactyl. Alright? Anyway, uh, for, uh, for the Firebird's articulation, the best articulation has its the wings that actually move like uh, in a pattern, but the, t the wing tips they keep falling off. I don't know, they're easy to fall off, so I fold them like this to keep them locked in place. But the head moves fine. You can tilt it all the way like that. That's good. Anyway, I almost lost its tail, but it's removable due to the transformation. Yeah, I'm not exposing most of the transformation from all the Zords. I'm just, I'm just telling you what they do, okay? So, I think that does it right now for the Firebird. It's just a short thing. Oh, wait. I No, it doesn't. I forgot to show you. I did a few panel lining right on the Firebird's belly. As you might see, I, yeah, I did a bit of good panel lining right here. But it's not my best work, but at least I try. Anyway. So, I think that does it for the Firebird Dungeon Sword. Let's move on with the Unicorn. Alright, here we got the Unicorn Thunder Sword, which is controlled by Billy throughout the entire season. With, of course, with this dinosaur counterpart, the Triceratops. The Triceratops is a little small, but the Unicorn has some resemblance to the Triceratops. As you might know, you know the Triceratops has wheels on the bottom so it can roll. Same thing to the unicorn. It's good. All right, so let's just put this guy out. So let's move. Uh, let me just talk more about the unicorn. Anyway, its articulation, its legs, its neck, and the head can go can move. Its head can actually go all the way down like that, and you can actually lock it like this. But it looks stupid. Anyway, you can lift this up, but it's a little sticky by me, uh, by my circumstance. And of course, that's it. Anyway, I don't even like. I kind of like the Power Ranger uh, sticker right there. It has a good lightning bolt there. But the one right here, that's how the actual Thunderbolt looks like. Anyway, I think that does it for the unicorn. Yeah, it's short, so let's move on with the Griffin. 
All right, here we got the Griffin Thunderzord, which is controlled by Trini through the first half of the season and controlled by Aisha for the second half. All right, so anyway, by comparison to its counterpart, the Sabertooth Tiger, it's a bit different. Same thing like how the the Unicorn has. It has wheels right on the bottom. It's really good. But it's like the Sabertooth Tiger where it has wheels on it, right? Right here, which of course doesn't move much, and right on the back of the feet, which of course does move a little bit. Alright, let's put the saber to take her away. Anyway, the griffin has the same articulation as the as the uh, unicorn, but as you might know, in uh, in Dire Ranger, they actually uh, promote this as uh, the the unicorn, uh, the unicorn, which of course they called the. They call the actual unicorn zord we have, uh, they call it a Pegasus back in Japan. It does look like a Pegasus, but with the horn, but it's but it's mostly unicorn where we call it. Alright, I think that covers all the zords, so it's time to move on with the special art artillery they have. So I'll just put these first on the side, so I can show you a little surprise. Throughout the if the if the Red Dragon Thunder Zord fails in battle, they actually bring out the Thunder Zord Assault Team, which brings all five Thunder Zords together and try to crush the enemy. But all right, so I'll just put these in order. So I'm gonna start off with the Firebird here. Just gonna be careful, all right? So I'll just rip this off because it's easier for me. Anyway, anyway, this thing here. Uh, this clip is, uh, wait, not that clip. This clip is actually broken. But it still fits on fine. Alright. Let me just put this right here. I'm afraid that the wing tips will fall. So I'm careful. I think that does it. If I get. Oh boy. I'll just put this back on. Okay, I'm done with my cowering fear from the Firebird. Alright, so let's move on, okay? The Griffin goes in here. There we go. And the Unicorn goes on the other side. The big bouncing lion goes right in front. And of course... The Red Dragon Zord in Warrior Mode goes right here. And there. Uh, that does it. It's the Thunder Zord Assault Team. Which is, has a great design. But it is, doesn't do anything except for the Red Dragon Thunder Zord with its, uh, with its big lance thing. He could spin around and actually uh, just destroy the enemy with it. So anyway, if this fails, they actually combine the Zords into Thunder Megazord mode. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'll just carefully take the Red Dragon Zord away. We don't need him anymore. Uh, only for the transformation, okay? Let's just carefully take the Firebird out. Alright. Take the Lion out. All we need is the Griffin and the Unicorn to start off. Because they become the arms of the Megazord. Alright. Uh, the uh, arms, I meant legs. I always start off with legs. Anyway, to start with the transformation, you just have to put the clip back, put the unicorn's head back, and then lift this up. Alright, let's put, do the same thing to the griffin, and there, we got legs. Now, for the red dragon, it's kind of easier to transform it when it's in warrior mode, other than dragon mode. Just have to twist these, lift the arms up. Now, you're going to have to clip them right in here. I have to line them up just right to get it good. But the unicorn is the one that's uh, trouble for me. Okay. Just clip right in. There. Okay. I think I'll bring it up a little closer. And, yeah, I should probably raise the camera up a little. Uh, yeah, this time, I'm using my tripod, okay? Alrighty. Now, Firebird's up next, and 
its wing fell off again. Anyway, you're gonna have to fold them in. Take off the tail, because you don't need it anymore. And put this back in there. Spin around here and try to clip it on like that. And then go around the front and wrap it around like that. Kind of looks like a skirt to me. Alright. All right. So, I'm going to put this right here. It's it's the kind of weapon that the Thunder Megazord use. Alright. Now, last but not least, the Lion Zord. You're going to have to tear this off because it'll become the Megazord head soon. Now, let's just rip this apart. Alright, start off with the arms. Alright. Let's just put this down. Okay, just put this down. And then put it right in here. Repeat again with the other one. Okay, I got it. Careful. Uh, there we go. Now, for the rest of the body of the lion sword, you're going to have to put the head down, take these clips out, and you jam right in there. And, of course, the tail becomes the helmet. Alright. And... There. Alright. Now, let me just rise this up. And we got Thunder Megazord, or Dyrano from Die Ranger. Alright, so... Uh, this design looks really cool. So anyway, uh... uh for articulation, it has the arms to rotate in the 360. Legs don't do much, just go forward a little. Head doesn't rotate, and that's it. It's mostly like a big brick. But, if they want reinforcement, they call it, they can pull out their weapon, which is called the Thunder Saber. Yeah, this is the Thunder Saber. And it looks real badass, bigger than the Power Swords from the original Power Rangers. Well, speaking of which... Let's just make a little size comparison to the original Megazord. Well, as you might know, the Thunder Megazord really beats the original Megazord. It's like when the, this got struck by lightning, it got bigger and turned into this. Well, I gotta say, if these two Megazords actually fought, uh, have a battle together, it'll be way epic. Which, of course, that didn't even happen in Power Rangers. But, like, if, like, say, when on the episode Return of the Green Ranger, like when the Green Ranger actually takes control of the original Dinosaur and actually just uh, try to take a fight with the Thunderzords. But it's impossible because the Dinosaurs actually got struck by lightning and they turned into Thunderzords. And that's how they became the Thunder Megazord. Like I said, if you might know the story, the Alpha used the power of the old Zords to create the new Zords. That's how he did it. So, I think that does it right now, so I'll just put the uh, Megazord away. And I'm gonna take a rating for the Thunder Megazord uh, 3.5 out of 5 because of its awesomeness. Well, it's alright, but uh, it is worthy for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the awesomeness he has. Even though it's part of the original Power Rangers, it does give it a lot of sense. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, so thanks for watching, and this is Luigi King 501 signing off.